I do remember when Google came out. Well, to get a Google email, a Gmail. You had to get an invite. You had to get an invite, which this represents the marketing idea of exclusivity. Of You have to be special enough to be invited. Bingo. And there's not many of them. There's not a lot out there. It's I, scarcity. Didn't they limit you to like five? You could only like yeah. invite five people right. like for you can one only limit or something. Five yes. Per account. So That's then you, you were weird shit sticks yeah, in my brain. Bit. Yeah. So it's like it, it's it's brilliant though because then it, it makes you feel like more special. Like you don't give those invites just to anybody, only the people you really care about. Exclusivity. That's so genius. in marketing, some the stuff we're learning, uh, I think a lot of this show is going to move toward the stuff we're learning and the stuff that we find in interesting, yep. rather than like harping on like this brand should do X Y Z. We're going to just teach mm -hmm. what we we learn. I, exclusivity and scarcity mm. is really a cool concept because if you offer your product to anyone and everyone, that's great, that's fine. But look at Apple. Okay, they release, let's say, 100,000 phones on day one of the release. 100,000, and they're all sold out. Well, that 100,001 100, person standing in line still wants that phone. So they're gonna be even more dedicated to buying that when it mm. comes out. It's the, uh, the scarcity. So do you think they limit it on purpose they to li make? They limit things mm. on, on, on purpose. Because obviously Apple can order more phones if they want they to. They obviously yeah. They can. Yeah. And the exclusivity makes you feel like you're part of a club, you're part of a group of mm -hmm. people instead of, oh, I, I, I just bought the product.